at the Dale. So my journey into horticulture started here with an internship. So I think it's only appropriate that my first garden highlight is here. So the amazing thing about Attadale is that it has its own train station. <laughs> so you don't have to be able to drive here. You can just take the train, which is brilliant. So when you hop out of the train, the entrance is just down the road. Da, 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 da. As you can see, 100 meters. Ooh. So you can see the gate right there. That's the entrance. And if you come by car, you drive a bit further. And then the entrance is on the left. You can't see it right now, but that's over there. So, first, first big plus. Okay, so when you drive up with the car, you can park over there. And then there's a dog bag disposal there. Responsible dog owner. And then here's the entrance. So here we've got the pay hut. And then on the right, we have the water garden. Well, part of the water gardens. And then, oh, I don't know if you can hear that little flappy noise. They have feeders around here for the red squirrels because they are encouraging them to come stay here. And actually, there's one right there. They're on the feeder. But I don't think, I'm not sure if you can see it. Ah, brilliant. Anyway, water gardens, and then you've got the bridge that leads up to the rhododendron walk. But there's the arrow where you are encouraged to walk that way first into the woodlands. So here's the gate you enter when you come from the train. And let's walk to the Japanese garden.
There are so many benches where you can sit. It's really, really nice. And I love this bit. It has a fern house. cool and you can sit there as well lovely right now we're coming to the kitchen garden which is lovely and as you can see as well there's quite a lot of sculptures around here so they do also sculpture drill in a way so keep an eye out for them they're pretty cool and there we've got loads of rhubarb is growing strawberries and then on that side potatoes are coming up and leeks and onions I'm guessing and Francis is really busy with planting and getting structures in place and things like that, which is brilliant. And at the back you can see there's the cold frames, which has lots of stuff in it, and that's lettuce. And I think there's the rasps. And they have a little um, plant sale area as well for trees. Um, apples, I believe, and polytunnel plants for sale. At the moment, they're not for sale. <laughs> they're here because that little glass house over there is a little tired, so they're going to get a new one. So the plants that are in there are uh, being transferred over to the polytunnel which is why Polytunnel at the moment is not displaying plants for sale. We go a little inside for you. So if you come here in May, June, it will be quite lush in here. There you go, kitchen garden. I'm just going to walk you up to the viewpoint because it's a great view and I'm not going to show you everything um, of the garden because you know you need to have some surprises when you come visit no? Da -da -da. And there we go. Such an amazing view. At Adil Garden. I'll walk you back to the pay hut. I'll speed this bit up. Because this is such a great, great, great walk. Back to the exit. Here we go.
and we're back where we started so I hope you enjoyed that best way to visit May June and it is really really a beautiful beautiful garden in my opinion <laughs> So, whenever you're coming up to Scotland, up north, visit Atterdale Gardens, Strathcarran.